Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought I would talk about the London, well, protest yesterday. Um, they were yesterday, I think they're today as well, but most of the news seems to be very biased towards yesterday. Before I continue the rest of this video, I'd like to commemorate the uh, fact that Britain won the Falklands War today. So I want to say thank you to all the soldiers who went out there in way out their leech to defend our islands against the Argentinians. And thank you for that. So let's get back to the subject of the video. So today I thought I'd talk about the London protests that happened this weekend. Now to tell you, genuine thoughts are thank Christ that what happened this weekend is nothing like it what happened last weekend. Last weekend was a fucking disaster. I still got to make a video on that. But by the time this video is uploaded, probably what was relevant is unrelevant, like the Falcons War thing. So, let's begin. So, what I have gathered from the weekend as a total has been very interesting. Because I'm going to give it to the lads that were down there already before I start talking about the violence and all that. Which did occur, not fucking happy about it, but it wasn't surprised depending who did it and who didn't do it. I'll just say that before we continue. Um, yeah, thank you for all the veterans and the lads that went down there already. We know you're not lightweight. We know that. The veterans, the the ex-army service personnel, the old guys, all of them, and even some of the football lads as well. I give you all the credit for going down there to defend the Winston Churchill Memorial after that fucking coffin was given to him, and so on. You know, it's it's great that you guys went down there just to do that, but it was a shame some of the folk actually ruined it four years. Fucking great. But it's not just because of that. It's because... You guys had the enemy coming at you from three directions. One, you had Black Lives Matter people, or the Antifa hybrids. I call them that, hybrids. Because they, the apparently the intention was to go from Hyde Park to Westminster, and you guys stopped that, obviously. That's good, we'll mention a little bit extra on that later. Uh, you had the uh, police to go up fucking against, and they seem to be double, doing double standards. Hmm. And you also had the media, which was already on your fucking tail from the beginning. But this wouldn't have made any difference. The escalation that happened the weekend wouldn't have even fucking occurred if it wasn't for Sadiq fucking Khan for calling you all light wing. It was that. That would kicked a lot of years off from the start. I know it was, because it would have kicked me off as well. I didn't go down like uh, Sargon didn't, um, We've Got a Problem didn't, uh, Tony Robertson didn't even do it. Uh, he didn't even go down either, and because it was just to stop tensions. I mean, I know I'm not going to cause tensions, but it was good those kind of leaders of the kind of, let's say, take down the shitty establishment movement didn't go down because they knew that it was like wing and the, the media was just going to fucking use them. But it's all right. It's all right. Some of you just went fucking violent anyway and the news was going on you like a fucking ton of blicks. Check how fucking biased the news media coverage was. It wasn't even violent when they recorded this part. Check the BBC when they talked about this. This was fucking unreal. Including right-wing activists have clashed with police in central London as they gather near Parliament Square and the controversial statue of Sir Winston Churchill. Wait, wait, wait. Did she just call Winston Churchill? What did she call him? Controversial? Okay. I see where you're coming with this including right-wing activists have clashed with police in central London as they gather near Parliament Square and the controversial statue of Sir Winston Churchill. Yeah, that wasn't going to help you very fucking much. 
Not at all, because the media just doesn't hate like you at all. They are just all calling you light wing anyway. Even if you were veterans or old folk anyway that just there to defend the statue, there was absolutely no way you were going to get away without, without being called light wing. And that wasn't thanks to Sadiq Khan calling you all light fucking wing yesterday, or the Friday, sorry. They call, he was calling you all out, out to be light wing. As soon as the words started coming out, all these little groups were coming down to London to protect the church and memorial. Well, they decided just to call you all light wing anyway, so that's some ease. And this little picture here, which seemed to be given to me by a nominous source, and it was shown to be police records of a Section 14 Order Act of 19. 86 of the rally there and apparently they were trying to keep everyone the light wing protest area is going to be in Westminster as it shows on the map here and it was funny that because it funny the how that was all supposed to work because the funny thing was the Black Lives Matter protest was supposed to start from Hyde Park and be so peaceful and then make the way down to Westminster and well it was, I think it was something like last week, but last week was just fucking chaos. But it's like how the police have actually named this area the Light Wing Protest Area. They're not Light Wing. These are just veterans and old folk that want to protect their monasteries. They want to protect natural history. They want to protect Ter Churchill, despite he was putting in a fucking coffin. And it was weird that, because it shows in the map here, the Senator doesn't seem to be in this at all it's weird it's because there seems to be like they're telling people to get away from the senator and go to parliament square right oh it, it looks like it's all changed again uh, another group of officers have come up and said if we don't move in five minutes we're going to be arrested they want us to go down into parliament square and be smack bang in the middle of that bunch that have just been throwing bottles at police officers I mean, how the hell do they think that's going to turn out? I think the consensus is here, we're staying. They're saying this is a sterile area, they've got uh, Whitehall blocked off on, uh, at all entrance points. They say it's sterile, the trouble causers can't get through. And then only later to be called this. Uh, changes again. There is now another divide in the ranks. The police have apparently said that uh, anybody that stays and gets arrested will be in jail until Monday. Uh, I think the main group is uh, complying. We're going to move off. And uh, well, we're now going around to horse guards to the monument there. Now let's talk about what happened down there as well, because they were doing, the police were doing fucking double standards down there, and I have to call that out, they were doing double standards because it was like all the, the white people down there, they got the lights and fucking shields. Last week, the police were getting absolutely fucking bashed. Like, the officers were getting bashed here. See them all getting fucking thrown about? Like, getting shit, this policeman here goes head blood in, everything like that. This week, nah. We can't be nice to the light wing protesters. We have to give them the full light shield momentum. Fucking stupid. And well, this is the the news is trying to use this kind of video here to condemn what all the violence was. I'll show you. <laughs> I don't condemn that at all. You should not be attacking the police. They're doing their fucking job, and that's it. But there was a thing with double stands going on there too. They have a protect, but... Yeah, it was weird, uh, because the police ended up doing double fucking standards. It was really weird, because last week they were condemning all the violence they could with ever, with getting thrown bottles at them and what the fuck ever. And they were getting smashed, battered, everything. Fucking policeman here got his head blood over. 
But then this week, they, they got all the light gear out, ready for the light wing protesters. But the thing was, all the protesters that were there, even there were some hooligans, the footballers were, some of them were being violent and throwing them. This was not the veterans. The veterans were doing the light thing when being sensible. But it's not like the police and the government was going to listen, right? But you got some people like here that wanted just to be peaceful. This is how you come into the thing peacefully. This is how the patriots do it. Like myself, though, if I could have gone down. Here we go, guys. Sap again from Veterans Radio. And again, here we go. We're coming up to Parliament Square. Should be able to see the crowd around the Churchill Monument. And this is the reception we're getting out here today. These are, these are the football lads. These are the football lads around uh, Winston Churchill statue. And there we go now to move into, uh, we're about to enter Whitehall. Protest against the boarding up of Winston Churchill. It's an absolute disgrace. Why is it a disgrace? Well, they should they should protect it. Yeah. They should the, the police should protect it and leave it open. We're only yards away from Downing Street and the Senator. Why can't they just protect it? Ridiculous. And uh, obviously you're aware of Black Lives Matter. Yeah. You've come down here to to protect Churchill. Have you uh, bothered to look into the things they say about? Churchill, the the other history that we don't talk about. I'm not I'm not interested in that. I'm in, I'm interested in our history, our history. It's Churchill speaks for himself. Yeah. He's world renowned. That that that's all you need to know about Churchill. And when when people point out that he was mean about Indians, that he said racist things about them. No, I'm not getting involved in this. And then there was this other guy that got interviewed as well, and I, I actually quite fucking like his response. It's funny. Um, I don't quite agree with it though, but it's kind of funny. Time so, I um, just want to ask why you're here today. To show respect to our memorials and protect them from thugs that have no respect for this country whatsoever. So you're, you're just here just to protect the war memorials? Some memorials and protect our dignity and our respect. We're not here for trouble or to cause trouble. We're here on a peaceful demonstration to prove our loyalty to this country. And what do you make of um, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, Sadiq who Khan said everyone... Sadiq Khan should be arrested and shot as a terrorist, calling us thugs and we've served our country all these years and there are many people here that, that have served their country and many that are dead serving this country. That man is an out-and-out -out traitor. Um, he actually referred to everyone here today as, as far right. Do you see yourself as far right? We are not far right. We are veterans of the British Army. We serve our Queen and our country, and even though we're not in full service, we still do it today. And we only kneel to the fallen. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs> I mean, you can take Sadiq Khan away from his job, but you can't shoot him for fuck's sake. He has actually failed London a fucking lot, but I don't think he deserves to get shot. But it's weird how they paint the whole thing. It's, it's really weird, because... They, they say they were being racist and that, and I don't think 
this law are quite racist. Well, the guy in the bikini is, and the pish shorts, yeah, that, that's definitely right wing there. Look at all those Nazi salutes. Two fingers up. It's not like the war memorial did that at all, right? But, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking funny how they name it that and all, but it seems to be okay. But they, they tried to move uh, them down and then up again, but the police had to shove them up the road, apparently, so it wasn't that bad. But apparently one officer has said this, the people down in uh, Parliament Square are singing racist songs. They were singing, God save the Queen. And an officer has classed that as being racist. So, uh, I think the consensus is, you know, we are staying put. And if uh, arrests are made, then arrests are made. But, uh, you know, I don't know uh, how big the prison, the police cells are around here. But, uh, you know, I do hope they've got... No, it's not the REF, is it? There won't be room service as such. But, uh, but you know, do hope they've got plenty of coffee on, uh, on board. There was also scenes where... We're not going to talk about the violence just yet, but we're going to get there. There was moments where we had people that were black and just being okay with the cloud. There was absolutely no problem, like this guy here. He doesn't seem to be any problem at all. He's just shaking hands. Absolutely no problem at all. Black, and Trump 2020. He's, you can be social. You can be absolutely fine. But the news media won't tell you that stuff, will they? But when you're going to a thing like this, you just have to be peaceful and you have to do it naturally, naturally and just be peaceful, protest, don't do not be anything harsh. Just like these guys here that did it, it was actually quite great to see this when I woke up in the morning, or just once I finished my work. That's why I was I didn't get the go because I was working, because I have excuses. I might have went, but... I probably wouldn't have if I was working, so this was different. But it's great when you see guys like this going down. And that they're not Nazis, but you see the appreciation they do when they're just going peacefully without any problems. Now, I want to talk about the uh, chanting that was apparently going on down there. Um, they were actually singing things like God Save the Queen and football chants. Not racist chants, like the news is telling you. They were just singing things quite naturally. They were just... God Save the Queen, which I believe they should be singing way fucking more than they should be. And, well, it was like this. It was actually quite nice. Now, I know I've showed a lot of video, but I'm just going to keep going because you guys need to see all the facts and all the vision that's here already. Because there was way, way too much stuff going on that got complicated into one sort of video. But, let's talk about the uh, BLM, Black Lives Matter, because the idea was to keep them away from each other, right? Well, the thing was, that was never going to fucking happen. But, it was funny how the, um, the plot, well, what do you call them? Well, statue protectors. They they were quite peaceful mostly, but the, for some reason they decided to be techs when they went to Hyde Park, and they were actually telling people off for being having a picnic in the guard the park. It was absolutely fucking nuts. I d couldn't believe I was seeing it, but this is the kind of guys that the news wants to use, and they want to go at them like fucking thugs, and it's like, oh look, they're all light wing, like the light wing, like this. This is what happened. But then it's weird how they can go about being peaceful and protest and then they do that stupid fucking act where it's just like that. But it's also funny when the BRM seem to 
you know, not they give a shit and then they take over the load like they did on the fucking bridge here. They don't. They don't seem to care. They just I think they own the place. Some east. And then what was uh, funny th after that was the police started showing up with... Um, they were starting to show double standards, the police. Because funny enough, last week they were running away. They were scared. They couldn't fucking do anything. Horses were getting scared. They were getting battered. They were getting everything. I'll show you what happened last week. And then what happened this week is when they decide to go again with the people protesting here, they don't like fucking scaredy cats. You show a gun or show them a dog, they fucking skedaddle. Like the first fucking lot did. You did wonder why, I did see my two teeth to the poor, you wonder why they were running. They were running because the fucking police were there. They didn't want to get arrested. If they were going to be stuck in jail with the full force, fuck that. And it's also a thing that's shown up here which seems to be double standards. It's actually really funny that because when it came to these situations, last week they were not in any protection, not in anything like that at all, there was nothing to help them at all. But this week they seem to be in body armour. But the thing is, they go in body armour against the lightweight protesters. It's funny that, ain't it? But with all the BOM protesters, they seem to have uh, no armor on them, and they seem to be fine. It looks like they were doing double standards down there. It was quite intense when I saw the video there. It was quite weird how they had the double stance on their little own, which is kind of weird. Sorry, which is a bit weird. And we'll mention the BOM again, because these guys are acting like fucking thugs, because while the protesters down at the Westminster or Whitehall were acting really peaceful about it. Like this guy here. Quite nice that I get a little patriotic tune like that. Um, yeah, you got the BOM. We're going to show violent content now. Um, yeah, they, they seem just to attack people, like, out of the fucking blue. Like, no idea at all. And they started attacking them, like, they showed this guy here. He gets absolutely fucking kicked in here, but I don't even know why that happened or how it started, but... They did start going on him like a ton of blicks, which was, this is not pleasing to watch. And there's a bit more content than that to show because... There was this other one where this one guy, and there was like 60 or 20, 30 folk was on this one white guy. One guy. And then when the police finally showed up to go and help him, it was like 5, 10 seconds before they even like bothered looking at him. It was like, oh, the, the hands were out there. 
But last week they couldn't fucking do anything to them. Weird, eh? It was absolutely weird. And there's this other clip here which I've got where I don't even know why. I think this guy was talking to a cop or Bobby. I'll call him Bobby. Um, and this black guy seems to just take his hat off and he's like going at him. He's like, what the fuck are you doing that for? And then watch. Yeah, and there's uh, another clip where um, this guy gets attacked, but the words saying going about is he got stabbed by this guy, but it's the guy in white we're looking at. Apparently he got stabbed, but I'm not sure if you can tell, but um, I'll let you see the footage here because it's fucking brutal. At least the police this time, as well as the last guy, actually came and helped him. I, I won't say the police didn't do anything, just the fact they uh, still sometimes showing double standards, but let's show the clip. And as you can tell, that guy was not, he was in white, but he was not white himself. He was African or black. Uh, you can tell that if you actually slow down the flame, that's slow enough, you can actually see it. And it's its really, I don't even know. It's like appalling in a way, but it's also good. No, not good. That wasn't good. But I mean, compared to last week with those Antifa Black Lives Matter fugs, did all the damage that they did, this was no acceptance, acceptable in no way whatsoever. And the media just clutching onto this like fucking that, it's just unreal. And well, but if you look at the media stance on this, despite some MPs and that were actually going, they was, I don't, they were like, well, what's the word? They were calling out the violence, but then depends who they were on. They were saying, oh, the light wing, light wing, light wing. But the thing is, I don't think they all light wing, because if they used their common sense, I don't think they actually knew what they were talking about. Because if you look at the ports like um, Joe, compared to the BBC's reporting on it, you can tell a very big fucking difference. <laughs> It has to, it just has to be stopped. We are one. If you want to be one, look us. Why? I've probably had a fight with that bloke. You know, that one, that one. Yeah, what, uh, the football. Oh, yeah. And we stand together, yeah. I don't like what's happening, no mate. There's no need to take the statues down. You know what I mean? It's just like, hey, Capaldi, Capaldi hasn't got a patch on me, mate. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling you. Do you think I need a haircut? What? Do you think I need a haircut? You need your teeth brushing, mate. <laughs> Thousands of protesters have gathered in central London, Westminster, to protest against the Black Lives Matter movement. They've gathered around the Churchill statue behind me after it was vandalised last weekend. We're here to ask them what they think. We're here purely, no violence, just to protest about the way our statues are being desecrated or also defaced. And because the police have done nothing about it, we've come here because they won't look after them. And that's basically it. Do you, do you... This has nothing to do with colour, creed, anything. It's purely that. I mean, it's, it's a ridiculous thing. You, you, history is what it is. Um, this has turned into a slavery issue from some bloke dying by a corrupt uh, policeman. 
Um, I didn't see any colour. I see a man die by a corrupt policeman. Yeah. Stop with the colours. Stop it. Because every time you say Black Lives Matter, you are putting a divide in between us all. You are being racist. All this bickering about colour, race, where you come from, it's just, it's, it's just daft, isn't it? Getting out of hand. Could you tell me what uh, Winston Churchill represents to you? What does he mean to you? He is father of our country since the war. Without the war, would these people rather have Adolf Hitler's descendants looking after us? This is democracy. And that's what it's supposed to be, a democracy. We're here to just like stop this carnage. We're here peacefully, as you can see. You don't need to rob places, you don't need to hurt people. You just need to turn up and be peaceful. I'm here today, right, to support, support the English army, you know what I mean? What's happening, right? I don't agree with it, mate. Statues, fucking, it's all over, mate. Yeah. The racism's coming back, mate, because of the fucking BH men. You can't rewrite or dis destroy your history. History's there for us to learn from and nurture. We've got what we've got today because of what we've learned from our mistakes and our history. To wipe that out, it, 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 it's, I just, it's nonsensical. The thing they say they aren't is racist. The clearest motivation today protecting, in the protesters' words, the statues in this area. Though Winston Churchill, Nelson Mandela and the others had already been covered up. One protester who would talk said he felt Churchill, British history, were under attack. Come on. I mean, he's, he, he had some racist views, but he, at the end of the day, he led us through our, t our darkest hour. I mean, I'm from South London. I've grown up with black people working class, we live side by side. Nobody here has an issue with BLM. Some anti-racism protesters also gathered today, but Black Lives Matter held its protest yesterday to avoid trouble, though there were still some scuffles. The Prime Minister tweeted, racist thuggery has no place on our streets. He said these marches had been subverted by violence. This from the Home Secretary. The individuals that are basically put in the safety of our police officers and the safety of the public at risk will, will expect to face the full force of the law. It went on and on. Waterloo Station this evening. A massive police operation has been needed to restore order. A hundred arrests, another six officers injured, protesters too, including this man carried to safety. But an angry day is finally over. Tom Simons, BBC News. Sent I mean, you can just tell from that alone. You just like, oh my God! They even like bothered getting Boris Johnson's message there. Pity Patel. I mean, she's under a bit of shit bandages new, but I think she knows who the hell the bad guys are. But they're not allowed to say anything because they could be media bias. But it's not like Labour's going against Pity Patel anyway, saying she doesn't understand her own fucking privilege talk about later and it's really crazy how it goes because if you compare to the post compared to last week where sorry where they said the you know the only 27 odd policemen were injured during the largely peaceful protests yeah like the 151,000 dead yeah that was during the peaceful invasion of the lark yeah sure that's very peaceful but if you compare that to this week, oh, complete different fucking story. London protests more than a hundred or less after violent clashes with police. Fucking joke. I mean, it's the media is just against us. It's against us all the fucking time. Yeah, we. I guess we just have to keep fighting them. If we're going to get attacked from three directions, we just have to keep going at them. Not attack them by force. Attack them peacefully. Not like the BOM or some of the stupid people for them the edf for it some just some stupid fuckers so i think i've talked way long enough than it is i think we're nearly 14 minutes talking about this and i bet you guys didn't even come up to this part you probably saw one minute like nah but uh so conclude this i'm not very really too impressed about what happened in london in the last two weeks 
Still got to talk about last week. Still got to talk about BOM. We still got to talk about everything else that's going on this week. And we've got loads of content con- coming up. But if you're not bothered or interested, or you, well, if you want to be interested, go and join the Desolation Blitten page. Desolation Blitten page is on my new Facebook page and Instagram page where we try and get a community of people together to, you know, just be commun- community. You look, there's groups for picking up rubbish, there's people for trying to get our climb. You know, there's loads of things I'm trying to get up here. So if you guys want to support that, that'd be great. But London, you've still got another day yet. Hopefully Sadiq Khan doesn't loot it for you. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!